Hello, today we are going to take a look at my uh, recent purchase. It is battery organizer. It is a plastic battery box that will allow you to store a lot of uh, different battery types. Here you can see dimensions and here is a quick compare to my hand. If we open it, you will notice that we've got a lot of spots for the different types, starting from BF1 like R20, 9 volt batteries, C cells, AA, triple A's, going into more exotic coin button cells. Currently, my battery management looks like this, and those are only primary cells. This is not my rechargeable storage. And as you can see, it is quite a mess. So our task for today is going to be populating it using those most common cells and leave only like a very specialized button cells in that box. And this is what we are going to be trying to do right now. Those four spots are designed to accommodate our R20 that looks like this. This is the most beefy battery. And we've got four slots for those, but I do not have four of them. But as you can see, it fit nicely and we've got some sort of friction. So I would say it is okay. I think you can hang it on a wall if we take a look at the back. So this is a nice thing. And here we've got model number, just in case you would be interested finding it online. So yeah, we can definitely hang it and it will not fly off. This is insert and I deeply believe you can remove it and in that spot there should fit like a battery tester, like a cheap Chinese common one and they just make it removable and you can fit it and store here. But I really like that compartment. I hope they are like CR2032. We are going to try to find something for that. So for example, here I've got, I believe, a 12 volt battery, very common one use on a remote. This is 32E. This is how it presents. Let's see if any of those will fit here. As you can see, it don't. But here we've got a perfect fit. So those are for that type of battery. Let me check, do I've got more of them? Here I've got quite interesting battery. It's being called SAM5. I believe it is 1.5 volt let me check that out and yes it is 1.5 volt it is bigger than our 12 volt and i believe this is going to be the correct spot and yes indeed so you can store many of them and let me search our box here i've got a CR2025, so it is a smaller one than you usually use on like motherboard. And let's see if this is spot for them. It is a little bit tight fit, but I would say it is designed for them. So as you can see, it is really nice. We've got a no problem. Yeah, it is a good fit. Let's see those beefier one. Here we've got the most common CR3032. This is what you are going to find on like motherboards or remotes. Extremely common one. I hate this packaging really much. Just take a look how, how terrible it is. Let's see where does it belong. Yeah, it don't belong here. Here also. 
And I would say this is also not good because if I'm going to push it harder, then I will definitely bend the plastic. But maybe here we've got slot for them. Let's take a look. Not everything is lost. Yeah, I would say it is too loose. Maybe here. Nope. And maybe here. No. So sadly the most common one. It is not a good fit. That's sad. I will leave it here. Yeah, I will leave it as is. And our second one goes here. I will put that back because we nicely take a look at this and it's great. So here goes our R20. Let me find our 9 volt batteries. Here we've got the regular 9 volt batteries and they belong in that spot. And I should have a couple of them if I recall. And yes, of course. So this is how it presents. Absolutely beautiful. Here our R14. That looks like this. And we are going to be nicely fitting them. Oh, I've got one rechargeable. I should not store it here. And by the way, I highly recommend the Varta Industrial. Germany, very good quality. I never seen them leak, like on a military equipment sensors. They are the way to go. Here I've got the most common, the double A's. And they fit nicely here. So we've got a lot of room for them. Because they are most common. So I would expect they are going to be used the most. So we've got the lot of space for them. And I would say that looks great. Some of them go really loose. That one got a positive feel. Very nice. So we clean out that box. And here is my lithium energizer from a test that we do in a radio battery box. So definitely we are going to check how it went. Then we go into our triple A's and we also have got nice selection. Very nice spot for them. And of course the Varta Industrial. That's the way to go if you are afraid of leaking. And it is made in Germany. Absolutely great. And they are very similar one looking, but they are not industrial. So you have to be extra careful not to get the consumer ones. And as you can see, our triple A's are being populated. Just tell me how does it present. Because in my personal opinion, it looks great. Wondering if those are also for double A's. Looks like they are. Another 9 volt. We've got our R14. We nicely populate it. Just take a look how great does it present. This is what you would like to see. We go back to the triple A's. Absolutely beautiful. It's like loading magazine. I've got another CR3032. Nicely go into that spot. 
we've got another 9 volt battery goes perfect we've got more triple A's let me fit them we've got a double A looks like here we can also store double A so yeah here we've got additional spots very nice we've got that 12 volt which goes here great I've got those they are 12 volt 27 E just take a look looks like that's going to be a corresponding slot so let's see this is how it presents will it fit absolutely this is the designated spot and it starts looking really great and do i've got more batteries we can put them just like that it looking really great i've got nine volt another but i do not see room for them here we've got another one but that one is a very specialized so yeah i don't think we are going to fit it i deeply believe we are finished i've got some of the coin cells but they are very uncommon and they can stay in the box hidden and store away because i do not need right away access to them and this is how it presents in my personal opinion absolutely beautiful just take a look together with me and yeah it is really great because it gives you that opportunity to visually inspect when you are running out and those slots are designed for the smaller one because inside you've got those studs that are sticking out so you will not fit here a double A they are for the smaller one and yeah in my personal opinion this is a great buy let's see if it's going to be locking and it lock in place and could go in your drawer in my personal opinion absolutely beautiful great buy so thank you very much for watching i hope you find that interesting see you next time and bye bye